Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about how to convert fractions to decimals. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help to use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here, simplify 7 eighths plus a 6.4. Now, one's a fraction, one's a decimal. Let's convert 7 eighths to a decimal so we can simplify this. To do it, we have to do some long division. 8 goes into a 7. I always think of the whole fraction tipping over to make it long division. Does 8 go into 7? No, 8's larger than 7. So let's put a decimal point right here and put a 0 right there. Should have made it a little lower, but it's all right. We can write it in. Now, we put a place value here next to the 7, and now we have 70. Does 8 go into 70? And that's going to be 8 times. I guess I could just left that same number down here. 8 times 8 is a 64. From there, we subtract the two numbers. 70 minus the 64 is just a 6. We need some more place values. Put a 0, bring it down, right here. Does 8 go into a 60? Well, that's going to be 7 times, because 7 times 8 is a 56. 60 minus 56 is a 4. Again, another place value. Bring it down to 0. Does 8 go into 40? And that actually goes in exactly 5 times. 5 times 8 is a 40. Subtract the two numbers, get a 0, and now we know we're done. If you end with a 0, you're definitely done. We got an exact decimal here. So 7 eighths plus 6.4 is the same thing as 0 0.875 plus a 6.4. Now let's go add these numbers. Let's write it vertically here. If we have a 6.4 here, and I put an 8.75 underneath it, a 0.875, sorry, 0 0.875, we make sure the decimals line up. We want to add them. Notice 0.64 has nothing afterwards, but we can add zeros there. It's the same number. Now, let's go. 0 plus 5 is a 5. 0 plus 7 is a 7. <laughs> Good to go there. 4 plus 8 is a 12. 2, we carry the 1. Decimal place stays right there. And then 1 plus 6 is 7, plus 0 stays a 7. And so, a 7.275 is the answer when we add 7 eighths plus a 6.4. Hope you learned something here on how to convert fractions to decimals. If you did, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This helps us make more of these free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching.